Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, it felt weird not uploading a video today because I uploaded obviously yesterday, which was Sunday. I didn't actually vlog at all yesterday. So weird. Um, anyways, I'm up. Um, I have a delivery scheduled for today or this morning, so I'm just gonna stay at home. We were gonna go to the gym, but I think I might just either go to Pilates if I get into a class this afternoon. If not, I'll go to a body pump class tonight at I think it's at 5 or something or 5.30. Um, so, yeah, that's when I'll go to the gym. I have to work on Jazz Handmade today. I'm going to sit down and work out prices. I have sort of roughly done all of the math, basically. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to basically be doing that, like, all day. That's, like, what I've got planned. I don't really have that much content to do. I've got content due this week, but I've already finished it. I did it this weekend. Just waiting for Peter to get up, and then I'm probably going to make protein oats. I've been obsessed with them, like, just, like, all foods that I'm obsessed with. I'll have them every day until I get over it, and then I move on to something new and then have that every day for, like, a month. But, yeah, I'm obsessed with protein oats at the moment with um, strawberries if that's not on my plan I just put it in manually um, in my carb manager because obviously every day on the plan is different um, and you can't like there's one day that they have overnight oats on the plan I think it's like option two or something but obviously I'm not gonna have that every single week like the set or every single day um, so what I like to do is like I said I like to manually put the macros in for that which I've actually saved on my carb manager and then every time I have that meal it just automatically puts the right macros into the app and then I just know how many calories and or macros I have remaining for that day to stay within my macros if that makes sense so yeah that is what is happening. So I will update you guys later. P.S. Found these at Woolworths. They're actually so good with ice cream. So I usually have either Donata, is it Yopro protein ice cream? I did actually purchase the dairy-free Halo tops. So I haven't tried them yet, so I'll let you know. But the macros on this, even if you are like keto, it's more lower carb though. Okay, let me just take it out of this. They're so yum if you just crumble them up with your ice cream. Hold up. Okay, so they're the macros. Oop. Come on. So per wafer, it's 34 kilojoules. So what's that? Like 10 calories? Um, protein 0.2, fat 0.2, and then carbs 1.6. So yeah, if you're like low carb or just following any sort of diet they're so yum i have like two and i crumble them in with my ice cream and they literally it tastes like an ice cream cone it's so nice so yeah little hack they are from Woolworths. just where the i'm pretty sure where like that icy poles and ice cream toppings are on the bottom shelf normally that's where they live so yeah thought i'd share my little find i really badly need to sort out my pantry like i've gotten lazy and i've just chucked shit anywhere like i've just been like oh that'll do there like what the hell that goes in here what am i doing <laughs> that's just like nuts and stuff i need to sort out this section like so bad like it's literally overflowing i think i need another one of these tubs from ikea or i'll take this one and use it and just leave that one there um yeah like why is my tea there why is that there oh i haven't tried this yet i've opened it Give it a go. Like, forgot I had those. Why is there bike up soda in here? Not sure. Like, so much, so much shit everywhere. Um, move that down. Hey guys, not much to update you guys on as you probably already saw of the little time lapse. I'm just working out pricing now and oh my god, it's so confusing. But I think I have come to a conclusion 
and come with like a rough price. So I will share that once everything's confirmed. Yeah, I'm actually so full from breakfast. I had just um, peanut butter on macro low carb bread from Woolies. Um, and just a small banana on top and it was so yum. Oh, and I also drizzled some maple syrup on top as well. It was really nice. So I did get a hideaway parcel just before. I just realized that because I was I saw it in like the side of the frame. <laughs> Basically, they've probably by the time you've seen this, the end of financial year sales would have been over, but they're doing like some daily special every day. There might still be sales actually on after I post this vid. But, I'll show you guys what they've sent me. Honestly, I could bloody open a whole store with the amount of hideaway I have. What? I didn't know that they had these. Or maybe I did. They're reed diffusers. Oh my gosh, bye. Rooms, what do you mean? I literally just got a package from Blossom by Ash because I don't actually have room spray. Like, I've been using their body mist to, like, spray the house. Room spray in strawberry gelato. Gosh, black sugar. It's like they know me. Well, obviously they know me, but they would have been watching my stories to know what my favorite scents are. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not gonna open this one because I literally have like 10 reed diffusers in my house at the moment, but I am actually so glad they have these. Like you guys know how much I love Hideaway, especially for their body moisturizers. Their body custards are my absolute favorite, but they have it now. They have the reed diffusers in my favorite scents and room sprays, which will be going straight in my room. Yeah, my code's just jazz and it gets you, I think 15% off. Being a snack, I'm just, just weighed up some of this. I bought the other day. It's actually really good. The Yo Pro strawberry yogurt, protein yogurt, and the macros are quite good. I used 150 grams. Okay, so here are the macros. So per serving is 160 grams, which is pretty good. 93 calories, and it's actually really nice. I don't really like yogurt with um, chunky bits in it, so it's smooth. I've got some strawberries, and then this is just the granola that I got, the Eat With Love by Samira. Yum. Okay, guys, I've decided I want to marble the top of this with the Kmart marble vinyl because I find that it gets really dirty. I don't really want to ruin the top. Like, I haven't even barely done anything and there's, like, scratches and stuff from, like, all my... Probably from my jewelry, to be honest, like, scratching and stuff like that. So, I'm going to take this off. So, I might just do the first half. I need to figure out whether the vinyl actually matches up because obviously this is hold on because obviously this is too short for it so i need to see if i get another roll it'll match up to that probably not although you might not be able to see it because i will have like statues there and probably yeah you probably won't even be able to see the line to be honest anyway see how i go I'll set you guys up on the tripod so you can see how I do it. I've spoken about it before, but it's like the fake Revlon brush. It's so good. Like I have a Dyson and I, like I still use it, but to like style as well as blow dry, I use this. It's so good. I'll leave the link below. I just got it. I got mine from Amazon, but that took way too long to arrive. So I'll leave the eBay link that I found. I don't know if it's in Australia or not, but it's only 40 bucks, but yeah it's so good i literally just had my hair like perfect before and then when i started to vlog yeah no that's not cute you get the gist anyways um it's really really good um i just had chicken and couscous for dinner i went to pilates this afternoon um this pimple does not want to leave my face 
but I am going to Erin Aesthetics tomorrow to get a vampire facial. Never had one before. I've only ever done their MCT oil, not MCT oil, <laughs> MCT injector facials for like my skin. So yeah, I'm getting a vampire facial tomorrow and that's where they actually draw your own blood. And then they put it into, I think it's like a, the same sort of machine that they use for my other facials and like in, like needle it back into my skin. I'm kind of scared, but they definitely do numb it for this sort of procedure because it is more invasive and the downtime is a bit longer. So they did warn me and say like, pretty much plan all your content before tomorrow because you probably won't be wanting to wear makeup for a few days after but that's completely fine my face will probably be red as well for a day or two after but I am so excited I've heard really good things about um like vampire facials and needling I just realized I had um couscous in my tooth so sorry about that um yeah, so first time ever having a vampire facial, so I'll obviously bring you guys along and let you know, but I'm kind of, not nervous, but like I just don't know what it's going to feel like, like the pain, but then again they do numb the face, so I'm sure I will be fine. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know, and I'll also show you guys the room as well. Okay, so this is the room, so what we ended up doing, sorry it's got like so much shit on it because I'm doing a giveaway with Custom Neon. So I just decided to put in some makeup and skincare that I've like really generously gotten sent, but I just will never get around to using like all of this. Like that is a lot of stuff. Um, I'll put the light on so you guys can see. Um, so comes with this little remote as well. Ah, oh, so cool. Um, so yeah, we ended up just vinyling the top. And I just dragged it down to the bottom, or not the bottom, like the edges. Just because, I don't know, I love marble and I just think it just adds a little bit to the table and it's definitely a lot smoother. I was just getting like, you know when you rub your rings or your jewellery on a bench top and it kind of leaves a mark? It was just doing that and it was pissing me off. Um, and I just didn't really want to ruin the bench top. But yeah, this is just the Kmart vinyl. It looks like this. Oh my god, my room is such a mess. It just looks like this. It comes in a roll. It's about $3. Um, and I think, well, this table I think is almost 2 meters. So about a 2 meter roll for $3, which is a bargain. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a picture of all of these goodies tomorrow. And then have that up on my Instagram, on my makeup account, hopefully soon. But yeah, giveaway coming up if you want to win any of these. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys. I just think it like really adds to the the look and you guys know how obsessed I am with marble so yeah I'm gonna look at the mess in here it was clean today until we decided to do the bloody marbling um but yeah so cool and we've also decided to not mount it on the wall we're just gonna keep it like that it, it's not really in the way or anything I thought it would be that's why I wanted it mounted but just in case we grow out of this room when I launch um, and we need to move, um, then I can just easily take it out or even keep it here, I don't know, um, and just take it with us without leaving holes in the walls. Morning, everyone. I just had breakfast. I had oats, protein oats with strawberries and granola. I just got ready wearing this cute little cropped jacket from Verge Girl. I'm also going to say, yeah, we're going back to the dealership to see if I can test drive this. It's like the model of car that I want, but not the right design. Wait, no. Same, yeah, same model, but not design. So, yeah, I'm looking at the coupes, but they don't have the coupes anywhere, really. So, I'm going to go test drive the wagon version um, <clears throat> just to see if I like it. Look at that screen. God. Look, good night, cards up. We're gonna go test drive that one. I'm scared. Here we go, boys. Here, Peter. You know how to drive this one? Is it different or not? It's like your mum's car. Right, Slow down, please. <laughs> I'm just going left, I don't know where to go. Yeah, just go left. Car. Really? Oh, you stressed me out. Like. <laughs> I'm 
I'm a better driver than you. Am I go, going? go, 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 hurry up before he oh, fucking takes off. Can you relax? Oh. I think I can't drive. Radio. Can help you. Turn volume down on radio to zero. What can I do for you? Turn the radio off. Please give me the radio station name. <laughs> Turn it off. You have to put your foot down harder now. You can judge yeah, it now. I can just use my toe. <laughs> is it is it on sport mode though? No. What mode's it on? No, I don't know. Fuck, I put it in on. sport mode. Well, um, okay, here. Don't forget, keep it on lights. Stop looking at that. Oh, geez, yes. <laughs> Going a bit sporty there, mate. Seriously. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's so much louder. Yeah, my car does that too. This is sport mode, it's like loudest it's gonna go. Yeah. God. It's not even loud. I thought it'd be louder to be honest. I'm not sure if I like the seats. No, the seats. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it looks like a race car. <gasps> yeah, it's very loud. Fucking hell, bro. Oh my god. Just be careful, the, it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's enough now. Just got home. I'll talk about that later, but I got this in the mail. I ordered some more tanning drops from Mecca. Literally like two days ago. It came so quick. So these are the tanning drops that I use on my face and I mix it in with my moisturizer every night or yeah, most nights. Um, I get the shade medium and I didn't even realize they had these um, self-tanning waters. So you can actually like put that pretty much all over your body, even maybe your face. But this is the um, Isle of Paradise. They're vegan friendly, cruelty free and organic. But yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. What does it say? Um, exfoliate before tanning, moisturize areas. So I guess you can use it as like a gradual self-tanning water. Um, but I probably would just use it like over the top of my tan like after four or five days just to like top it up maybe or even on the face I don't know but this is literally like my holy grail face tan I love it all right on our way to Erin Aesthetics to go get my vampire face I need to drink heaps of water because she is drawing my blood water? and yeah um, most nurses or whenever I need a blood test they struggle to find my veins like all the time like they never like my veins don't Not really show <laughs> so I always have to scull so much water when I got my appendix removed when I was in grade one they literally had to jab me like I think it was something like 12 or something times before they could actually like find a vein to cannulate so Yum. hopefully she's good <laughs> because it hurts after they do it for a while but Okay, so I'm just about to go in and I'm low-key shitting myself, even though I feel like it'll be like the same amount of pain as the MCT ones that I get. But I don't know. What if it hurts? Okay, gotta go now. This is where I go. It's on Hay Street in Perth and it's so gorgeous inside. Love. My lips feel numb, <laughs> like a little bit. Yeah, they, they do feel. from the numbing cream. You really feel it around the mouth area. Kicks in nice and quick around there. God, my face is so red. Oh, it's actually not too bad. We didn't end up doing the vampire facial just because I should have warned her that uh, my veins are so hard when it comes to drawing blood. Next time I go in to do one, we'd have to get someone to draw the blood for me. Um, but yeah, I literally just didn't tell her that <laughs> my veins are shit pretty much, but we just did a normal needling. Um, it didn't hurt at all because I was completely numb. I keep thinking like there's someone in that <laughs> salon. Um, yeah, I was completely numb, didn't feel a thing. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, my face is still so red from needling yesterday so like i said i have really really faint veins like you can actually see them but when it goes to like finding them and touching them they always struggle to find a vein so yeah they didn't end up doing the vampire facial so she just did a normal needling session as you can see i am still like very red all over but she did say that the downtime for normal needling is only about a day so tomorrow i'll probably yeah be back to normal again probably not going to wear makeup today just i don't want to congest my skin or anything like that 
but yeah it's kind of um it feels a bit hot not too bad but like my skin's actually like really glowy considering i don't have anything on it i didn't put any moisturizer on last night i just had the like the cream that she gave me after this though i'm gonna go um wash my face and then she just gave me some, um, I think it's like a recovery balm or something like that. So I'll put that all over my face today and maybe even tonight before I go to bed. She just told me to do it for the next like couple days. But yeah, I'll show you guys the results. Obviously, she said it takes about a week for it to kick in. Yesterday, I cleared my wardrobe there. It was just full of like boxes and stuff like that. So when I receive PR mail, I like to sort of keep the boxes like as you can see here to recycle them for when I need to post anything whenever. Usually I um, keep all the poly bags, like the like bags like this. Like what I get from brands and then I like when I go to post something to someone, if it's Depop or if I just need to post something in general, I'll just stick the label like on top of the label that they used. So it's just like recycling. Um, mailer bags like i was planning on launching this month obviously just whenever everything's ready i've already made my bulk order for my jewelry boxes my mailer boxes and something else and something else there's two things that i haven't actually told you guys about but i want to keep that a surprise you know um so yeah all of them are in bulk production as we speak and i think they're about halfway or maybe even a quarter of the way through so um, I was aiming for end of July, but I have been told that my Stax um, collab will be released around the end of July. So I don't really want to bring out two brands, like not brands, but like, like a collab and then my brand at the one time. So I was thinking I'll do my Stax collab first at the end of July and then I'll release my brand in August and that kind of gives me time to go home as well to the Gold Coast because I obviously have to go to Sydney for the shoot so whenever borders are open which I'm pretty sure are open on July 10th thank god however WA borders are still closed so that means if I do go over there when I'm coming back I have to quarantine for two weeks which I mean I'm not mad about like I don't really care I'm not sure if I have to quarantine in a hotel though I haven't looked up that much but hopefully by the time I come back, which will be end of July, the borders will be open. So I won't have to worry about quarantining. Anyways, I don't really have that much info on that. But yeah, I do definitely want to go home first, see family before I launch. Because obviously when I'm launching, I'll be here majority of the time packing your orders. Um, and yeah, managing the business basically. So yeah. That is the plan. So I was I was like in my head thinking July, but then I just yeah didn't want it to clash with my stacks collab. I want it to be completely separate. I didn't want people to be overwhelmed and be on two websites at once if they, you know, wanted to shop. So I'm thinking of um early August now. I know I'm like pushing it back again and I did say July. Well I didn't actually formally say July, I was just saying fingers crossed July. Like everything will be ready in July, I can guarantee that because everything's already being made. Um but I just, in terms of launching, I just don't like to launch two things together. It could be just a bit overwhelming, even for me, <laughs> let alone you guys. So, yeah, I was thinking early August, first week of August, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, heaps of you guys always ask me for a launch date. Right now, that's what I'm aiming for. So, yeah, that's just a little update i'm gonna go and make a coffee and have some breakfast even though it's like 10 30. i had a slow start this morning but i felt like i needed it because i've been waking up so early the past couple days like 7 30 ish and then going to bed at like 1 1 30 like normal time so i've just been so exhausted and i slept in a little bit until like 8 39 and then i was just on my phone literally for like an hour and a half um so yeah that's the plans for today. I'll let you guys know how my skin goes throughout the week, but yeah, so far I'm happy with it. I'm gonna make an acai bowl. I forgot I had this in my freezer. I think it was from Aldi actually. It's actually quite good macros for keto as well. So it's just this. You get like an acai sachet. Macros in the back are 
1.3 grams of carbs for this and 75 cals. Um, and then it has a little recipe here. So one of those, some frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries, raspberry, or you can just get like a sort of like a mixed, which I've got in the freezer, mixed berry sachet, and then one, a half to one cup of water. And then to garnish, you can use coconut flakes, chia seeds, nuts, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try this out and see how I go. Um, I don't have no tan on my face just because I didn't want to put the tanning drops on um, just while my skin's kind of healing from needling. So good so far. It does feel a little bit dry, but she did say that that could be the case. I've just been using the recovery balm that she's given me. So, yeah, today I have to do stuff for Jazz Handmade again. Um, I'm also organizing my giveaway. I have to go take a photo somewhere else because I tried to take a photo of all of the products laid out with the neon sign in the background and it just, it like the lighting just looked wrong for it coming from that side. Like it needs, like the sign needs to be behind it, but then I can't get the sign in it. So first world problems. Um, I'm gonna maybe organize it for it to be like, maybe laid out on the rug or something like that and take a photo and then just take a photo of the um, sign itself. So that giveaway will be up probably next week, but basically it's a giveaway with um, custom neon. They're giving away two vouchers to get neon signs um it's basically like a bestie giveaway so sharing it with your bestie so they're giving away two vouchers and then i'm just giving away a whole heap of makeup and skincare that you can divide with your bestie um so yeah there's like makeup skincare glasses hideaway face masks stick on nails phone cases a lot <laughs> there's heaps of random things in there that um have been unused obviously so yeah, that's pretty much what I am doing today. I had protein oats for brekkie and a coffee. It's now 12 o'clock, but yeah, I'm just basically working on my brand. I'm actually filming a separate video for Jazz Handmade, so like more behind the scenes because I know a lot of you guys like when I share like tips and tricks and just like my journey along the way with building a brand basically from scratch. So. I have a separate SD card, so whenever I have updates of shipments or if I've got new samples, which I have been getting really recently, I have been updating you guys on that SD card so I can put together like a vlog. It'll probably be a long one because I literally have shared so much with you guys. So I will release that when I launch my jewelry line. So I did start it when I received my first half of my bulk order. But yeah, I am going to upload a separate video vlog um, all about the behind the scenes of all of that. So get excited for that. Probably will go to Pilates this afternoon if I get in. I need to stop booking like a day in advance because they're so busy um and they always book like days in advance even like a week in advance so, so hopefully someone cancels so i can go this afternoon but i've been like taking it easy with exercising i've just been yeah like so busy i've been doing lots of walking though like every time i go to the gym i'll just do cardio for an hour and i'm like liking that for a change i haven't done any body pump sessions this week actually which i normally do one to two sessions per week i might actually even do one tomorrow if it's on tomorrow morning. But yeah, I haven't done any like weight training this week. I don't know, I just haven't been in the mood, you know? Like I'm just into my Pilates and walking. Like I've done Pilates twice this week. Hopefully we'll go today, um, but I'm just really, really enjoying Pilates. Like I love it so much. I feel so much stronger, like in my core especially. Like I found myself last time doing it, we were doing this exercise that involved 
like your abs and like basically like holding yourself up for a, for an amount of time and there was a few beginners in the class um and i don't know i was just like looking around and they were really struggling and i was like why am i not struggling like this is really weird like i'm finding this like relatively easy i had to actually even go the harder option to challenge myself and i was like wow i didn't even think i would ever be able to like build up my core strength that much i've only probably been doing it for about four months three four months and yeah i can definitely like seeing that because i definitely know that that was me when i first started i was so weak in my core i found it so hard um so yeah if you guys have never done reform pilates and you're keen on it your first session will be so hard it might even put you off like it is so challenging but trust me after you do it consecutively and consistently for a while you'd be amazed at what you could actually do by the end of it so yeah that's just what i'm liking so far in terms of exercising but yeah i just thought i'd update you guys today i'm just doing lots and lots of like office work i guess on the computer and yeah i i all my packaging is like laid out on the floor because i just filmed um showing you guys for the first time like my mailer boxes and my um other products that i'm launching as well so that's super exciting but yeah I will talk to you guys later. Oh my God, this literally took May, June, two months to arrive. <laughs> yes, I bought Addison Ray's merch because she's the cutest, but two months. Actually, I think it was like nine weeks. I actually messaged him last night saying, hey, um, do you have the tracking? Um, not sure what's happening here. It's a bit... Or maybe because it's like terry toweling on the inside it's actually quite nice um had to get it she's so cute she can literally sell me anything but yeah that's like the inside got this but yeah if you're from australia be prepared to wait like nine weeks for your order and i think it was about 70 dollars shipped to get here but I mean, it's cute. I literally forgot that I ordered it until last night. I was like, wait, didn't I order her merch? And then it showed up today. So what are the chances? We're cooking dinner and there's literally one lemon on our lemon tree. <laughs> and he wants it for his fish. Oh, by the way, we've got French penny trees. Actually, I'm making my like stuffed capsicum. I've got egg at the bottom and then I've just sort of 85% cooked some beef mince and just put that in. 180, I've lined the capsicum with cream cheese. You guys need to try it, it's so good. So 180 for about 12 minutes. It does take a while and then after that, top it with cheese, put it in for another five minutes and it should be perfect, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. But Peter's having some fish. <sighs> I can't believe that grew from our garden there's like flies on it it's quite good you know the trick to like just get it because you just want it for the actual like the lemon juice right you just put up poke a hole in it and squeeze it you don't actually have to cut it do you, do you just want like a wedge Remember how we thought it was a lime tree because it was green? Sounds better than full worse. Look at that. Here is the final product. I don't have any more good sauce, so I've just settled for this. It's okay. It's the macros on it. 2.1 per serving, 10 cows, but obviously the ingredients on the good sauce is way cleaner. There's not as much shit in it as these ones, but put a bit on. And there we have it. Yum. And I'm also having, this is new by the way, this kombucha mango passion. Carbs are a bit high for keto, 5.6, but it tastes amazing. Good morning. I finally put tan drops on my face, but I think I put too much. Like I hadn't put tanning drops on because of my needling. So my face was so pale um, compared to my body. But I was like, okay, we're just going to do two drops today don't know if i would recommend ever doing two drops if your face is really pale to start off with definitely build your way up and just do one drop but i should have done that but 
it kind of fades like if you don't consecutively like continuously put your drops into your moisturizer daily like it will obviously fade so i think i'm not going to put any on tonight wait for tomorrow see what it looks like because it just looks very tan by the way this is from boohoo from ages ago um and then these are just the kmart men's trackies that apparently i sold out many months ago not sure if they still have them but they're just like the 15 dollar men's trackies they're so comfy i get a size was it 12 or medium i think it's a medium let's have a look hold on they're so freaking good you need them medium yeah really good like they're not like super tight which i like i hate lounging around in tight like i'd rather it be like this and fitted like especially if i'm like sleeping because sometimes i sleep in trackies like i slept in this <laughs> Cause it was freezing last night and my socks um yeah we're gonna go to the gym this morning and do body pump oh my god my face is like a combination of being sunburnt and tanned like you can still see that it's red underneath. <laughs> oh my god i'm a mess um i'm gonna go do body pump this morning at 10 15 i haven't done a body pump session like i said to yesterday this whole week so it'd be my first sesh i'm excited um and then I think we we're going to go to Officeworks to get some more, um, is it called printer toner? Like cartridge for my printer, just in case I run out, like when we launch and if I need it. I don't know. I just like having backups of that sort of shit, which we don't. Um, and then I needed something else from Officeworks, but now I can't. Oh, yeah, I need more of my um, jewelry organizers, which I'm like storing my jewelry in. Yeah, I will keep you guys updated. My face looks so tan in this. Um frame but yeah i might even go wash my face again see if i can get some of it off because it does look a little bit too dark for my liking um but yeah i'll keep you guys updated this is what i'm having my little coffee and then i made some protein oats with my isopept chocolate some keto granola from Eat With Love by Samira on Instagram. She's setting up a website, by the way, so you guys can order. But she's just taking, um, like, orders through DMs at the moment. Some strawberries and oats. Mmm. Yum. Egg whites really make a difference. It makes it so much fluffier. You can either do it on the stove as well, but it's just more mess. <laughs> so I just do it in the microwave. Yum. Guys, look what I got from M, my graphic designer. I'm literally about to cry. Hold on, I've tampered with the box, but how cute is her packaging? So cute. Look what she's made for me. A massive travel case from the Daily Edited, I'm pretty sure. So she's got that embroidered jhm for jazz handmade and then painted over the top i'm honestly blown away thank you so much she is honestly the best if you guys are struggling to find a graphic designer she is just amazing she can do so much cool art on like jackets canvases just check out her website it is i'll leave it linked down below but it's just emily ingham art on instagram if you want to check it out or oh, that's her website there but she is just so talented i i cannot deal thank you so much again i'm gonna put this on my desk and put some jewels in it good morning guys happy saturday just woke up and had some protein oats and now we're gonna head to the gym i'm just gonna do cardio i think I'm actually really sore from body pump yesterday, like very sore. And I also woke up with the worst cramping ever. I think I'm getting my period. I am like 10 or 15 days late from my last period, but obviously you guys know that I've just come off the pill. Well, not just come off, maybe like a month and a half ago. And I was meant to get it um, like about 10 days ago, but I've heard that when you get off the pill, it does take a while for your body to like regulate again and get your period. So woke up with a bit of slight, like not really slight, like I literally like woke up, got up to go to the toilet and I was like, oh, it hurt. It was like a sharp, it was like someone was like pulling my ovaries apart. That is literally what it felt like, but I'm all good now. Um, so yeah, hopefully I do get my period soon. 
keen to see how that goes if it's any different from the periods that I normally get I did do some research and apparently it is common for you to have like it take a while for you to get your regular periods again after coming off the pill I snapped my nail mid-class yesterday in body pump and it wasn't like I just like literally took the tip off but May, it, I think it was like maybe attached a bit to my nail bed. It didn't hurt or anything, but it just started pissing out blood mid class. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Like literally mid squat. Like as I was putting the bar down, it just like fell off. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to have it dangling there. And it wasn't bleeding. And then I pulled the rest of it off. Didn't hurt. And I was like, what the fuck have I done? So I literally ran to the side of the room to get a paper towel and like literally just like held a paper towel onto my nail like the rest of the class which was like 20 minutes because <laughs> i didn't want to leave because it didn't hurt like it was just like bleeding and i was like hey fuck <laughs> um but yeah got a band-aid on it that just serves me right for being clumsy bitch did i show you guys the table i don't think i did did i i don't know anyways here's our table vinyl job from kmart so obviously like the actual vinyl was, I think, yeah, up to here. So this is how long the vinyl was. So we just got another roll and then just kind of tried to join it up. It's not like perfect. Like you can't see how you can see the line, but like I have all that shit there. So you can't even tell from a distance. Um, but yeah, how freaking cool is this for like product shots? I'm going to set up like my jewelry on this and take some photos. I'm actually going to do that today, I think. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that today and experiment with product shots and stuff like that. So I'll let you guys know how I go. Although we do need to go to Officeworks today to get some more um, printer cartridge. I think it's called a toner. Probably not. I'm probably getting it wrong. But yeah, I just want to back up of that. Uh, need to go to Bunnings to get a few things. I also need to get... Um, what else do I need to get? Well, wow. oh, one of my parcels is at the news agent, which is weird because they accidentally sent it to Peter's old address and obviously I don't live there anymore. So they left the card and I've got to go pick that up. Um, but yeah, that's my little update. How freaking cute is this area? I cannot deal. I can't wait to take photos here. <laughs> is what I'm wearing just wearing like usually when I just do light cardio I just wear like my like Tommy or Calvin or like I do wear my Stax ones but like when I don't really need the support like I sleep in these kinds of bralettes like these ones and the Bonds ones are just really nice to sleep in um I slept in it and I can't be fucked taking it off so I'm just gonna wear it underneath this boohoo jumper that I got a couple months ago and some leggings my Cara Lee ones just because I'm just doing some light cardio on the treadmill for about an hour. And then, yeah, got to do the rest of the stuff that we're doing today. And also Peter wants to plant our frangipani tree. So that might be some good content. <laughs> never gardened in my life. So see how that goes. P.S. Why have I never, like, had room spray in my whole 25 years of living? How did I just not have this or know about it? This one's the Blossom by Ash. Of course, it's unfocused. Come on, come on. Wow, my camera's actually cooked. I need a new camera. <laughs> it's just not focusing anymore. I like this one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've had like three of these Canon G7Xs and they just keep breaking on me and I just insist to get a new one because I want the new version. Anyways, like I was Not saying, I like it. No. It has a flip out screen. Yeah, Whatever. Um, <laughs> this is a Blossom by Ash um, room spray. Like I said, don't know how I haven't discovered these until recently. Sprayed in my room every morning when I make my bed and it just makes the room smell like just so clean and fresh. Love it. This one's in Sea Salt and Ocean Breeze. Not sure if my discount code still works, but you can try Jazz 15. I don't, yeah, I don't know if it was only for 48 Swipe hours. Up <laughs> Swipe up to shop. Also, updates, still haven't found my AirPods. Don't know where they are. And I know that they're not anywhere outside the house because I remember when I was going for walks, especially during isolation when everything was closed, I had them because I wore them. They're not in my jumper pockets. 
well, if they were in my trackies, they would be fucking broken. But like, I haven't come across them in the wash. Where would my AirPods be? Comment below, please, because I'm running out of ideas on where to find them in my house. Yeah, not in any of my jumper zippers, not in any of my shopping bags, because sometimes I'll just drop them in there, not in the car, not in the bottoms of the seats of the car. I just don't know where they are. They're not in my drawers. I've gone through the fucking whole house. Like, what's the bet? They've fallen out of the car or something, or fallen out of my bag. Um, and I also did try find my iPhone and it said no tracking available for the AirPods. So that's just great because they're probably dead. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have to go and rock the old school wired headphones. That sounds so bad. Nothing wrong with wired headphones, but I just miss my AirPods. Okay, this is literally the worst lighting ever. Um, we just went to Officeworks to get a few things and the girl that served me, I think her name was Jamie, she said she recognises me because her sister watches my vlog. So, hey Jamie's sister. Oh, can't even see me. That's a bit better. We're going to Harvey Norman to get a... What's it called? Uh, air, uh, air filter for the fridge. Water filter. Water filter. Who knows? Um, might have a little gander in the furniture section. Might so what they've got. TV. Might buy a TV. Oh yeah. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, we'll have a look. See what they've got. Um, and then there's like markets across the road. I really want to get like a vintage. You probably can't even see me. Vintage like book for when I shoot my jewelry. Imagine. What? what was that though? Uh, I think it was a rug Rugs. Store. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's see what they got. They're yeah, they'd get dirty, but they're black. They're charcoal. Yeah. Why are tables so expensive? It must be like three and a half. Now. But the other one was like, how much is just the, st the table? Holy cadooly! May as well get a marble two, one. The table's two and a half. Oh my god, this is nice. I don't like it though. Oh, this is nice. We need to look for a theatre couch, by the way. I like this. What do we just get a little one? <laughs> yeah, that marvel's gross. $1,000. It's a one-person fucking table. Oh, this is the one I really like. Surely. Come on. And then we can just get our own chairs. That might be cool, too. Oh, I don't really like the mirrors. Hmm. Like, if that was thicker, I would like it. Okay, we're back. I'll show you guys what we got. We went to Office Works. I needed more, um, like, jewellery organisers. This is where I'm just going to keep all of my stock. We got another one. We got some more toner for the printer, but that's boring. Um, this is what I went and picked up from the news agency, randomly. I don't know why it was there, but what else? The new Amen stuff. I actually like this colour. So that's just their new collection. Paradise 3.0. I haven't actually tried this style of leggings before. They're like really... Ooh. That's very different for Amen. We have never tried them Jesus. before. I know, they're a bit bright, eh? Um, and then another one of them... <laughs> I got this little holder from Officeworks just for like my thank you cards and stuff just on my desk. I got a stapler because I needed one with some staples, some tape, and then I wanted, so random, but I wanted um, some vintage like antique style hardcover books for product shops because I've seen so many oh I've got this as well from Office Works. I found this quite cool. It's like a little goals journal and it's made of 100% um, recycled paper which is awesome. Um, I just thought it was cute. It was pink and like the insides like I don't know it just looks cute. It's just got like my goals, deadlines, action steps, solution, notes. Just like a cool little notepad to have on my desk for like all my work and stuff. 
So I got that. Um, and then, like I said, I went to, is it, I don't know what it's called, but it was opposite Malaga, if you're from Perth, Malaga um, Office Works. It's like the market. Kind of reminds me of Thailand vibes. Like, you know, when you walk in, like if you've been to Thailand or even like Singapore, like the markets there, how they all just spread out in like the one area with like heaps of like random shops. Anyways, it was just like random as shop there and they had like all these books on display. So I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, how fitting. It's like a, I don't know, like olden day type style. It's got like gold foiling and then it's like, it's just like old, but like I wanted to have like the book open and then have like props on the book and take photos like that. Could be cool. So I got this one randomly. It was two for five bucks, so bargain. Um, and then I just got this one for the color. I like the, it's like sage, um, like a sage green. And then I was just like having a browse and she had like all this jewelry on display. And I don't think this was for sale because I was like, oh, that's really cute. That little like ring trinket. And she was like, oh yeah, it's been there for a while. And I was like, like, is it for sale? And she just kept avoiding like the question. And I was like, I'd like to buy that. Like, what? would you sell it to me? She's like, okay, yeah, $5. So I got this, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, this is the vibe. This is the little trinket. How cute is it? You know, cute little trinket. And then this is like, I don't know, for like product shots, like just even in the background, you know, I guess you'll see the photos when I play around with it, but yeah, super cute. And that's what I got today. That's the book. <laughs> I haven't been on all day. Literally, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and take some product shots with the new props that I got. And I literally got so into it. I didn't even like film stories or vlog anything. And I've already like packed it up, but oh my God, they look amazing. And I also did that um, TikTok it's like a viral TikTok where like jewelry businesses are doing the whole where people get their laptop open like a wallpaper and then like have the jewelry on a mirror. You'll see what I mean when I upload it anyways and it looked so cool. Um, but yeah, that's literally all I've done today. I had oats this morning. Haven't had anything else since. Like oats literally keep me full for hours. Like I'm not even craving it. I'm just going to go have my genora real quick now um but yeah i'm not even hungry and it's 2 30. i might even just have rice cakes or something with cottage cheese it's like my favorite snack in the moment um but yeah i have literally been doing that for like four or five hours outside my back actually hurts because i was sitting down um on the concrete but yeah i can't wait to share these photos with you like i said they're just mainly for like content like instagrammy type pics maybe for my website but i think i'm gonna use the photos from the shoot um which is next week don't think i've told you guys but yeah shoot next week um on thursday because apparently it's like sunny that day um it, the weather's been like so bipolar here like one day it's raining and storming one day it's like hot like it was actually hot outside um and sunny like what's the bet tomorrow is just gonna be cold um, but yeah, so hopefully fingers crossed Thursday will be a good day. Um, I might vlog as well. Like Peter's going to come along and help. So I'm sure you guys will see, but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. I still haven't started editing it yet, but I'm sure it'll be up in time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.